<laughs> I'm trying to do like an ashamed face for the thumbnail of the video and I just can't get it right. If you're new to this channel, every single month I do a spending roundup and an income roundup. And normally when I do these videos, I start with the income because the income is maybe the most fun or most interesting for you guys. But to be honest, this month's income wasn't super memorable, but the expenses were super stupid. <laughs> They were just ridiculous, and not in the way I usually use. They were ridiculous, bad, ridiculous. <sighs> so let me share with you guys my expenses, which I've put onto my phone because my memory is bad. I spent $650 on accommodation this month, and that's not bad. 650 bucks on accommodation for a whole month is fantastic. But the problem is that's just two nights. And it's not really a problem, because it's it's a bit of an anomaly of a month. My brother got married in Banff. We He got married at the Banff Springs Hotel. And that's an expensive place to stay. I think that was like a 500 Canadian dollar a night stay. So 400 US dollars. And then I only spent one other night paying for accommodation the entire month. And that was in Munich at the airport. But that was an expensive stay. So $650 in spending an accommodation this month. As a whole month, that's fine, but it was only two days. A lot of my work this month was uh, had sponsored accommodation, or I was staying with my parents or my brother, or stuff like that. So transport is also fairly normal this month. I spent $675 on transport, and that's flights, a bus ride, that's it. Rental cars, I had two rental cars this month. So that's $675. Food. I only spent $350 on food this month, and that's amazing. But the reason I only spent $350 on food this month is because I was on press trips, assignments, at conferences, at my parents' house. This is where it starts to get a little bit expensive. Business. I spent $1,100 on business this month, and that's the usual stuff I need to pay, like website hosting and um, insurance and stuff like that, but it's also the Mavic. I upgraded to the Mavic Pro, and to be honest, I love it. I shot some images in Muskoka um, yesterday with the Mavic, and th this is gonna pay itself off. Let's just put it that way. I shot two or three images that I know are gonna sell already. So in one use, or I guess I've used it like three times, but in one use, in one day, I've made my money back with the Mavic, I think. So that's a good investment, and this is where it gets stupid. <laughs> Normally, and I say this in every one of these videos, I don't spend money on myself. I don't buy clothing very often. I don't, I just don't spend money on myself. I like to invest my money in my company. I like to invest my money in my business. I like to invest money in travel. This month, I did a stupid thing. <laughs> I did a real stupid thing. We're at this conference, we're at STS, and we're a bunch of people like hanging around. I think there was like 10 of us, maybe even more, 10 or 12 of us sitting around drinking. We were all a little bit like, we were a little bit looped. We were a little bit drunk, a little bit banana faced, I guess. And the guy came by to like say, hey guys, we, you need to pay. And I was like, no, I'm paying for everybody. And that's the type of guy that I am. I could have no money in my bank account when the guy comes around to see who's paying the bill, I pay it. That's just what I do, when, especially when I've been drinking. It's not very smart. And to make things worse, to make things worse, after I paid, somebody from another group that was with our conference came up to the table and was like, hey guys, be careful what you, you order. My gin and tonic costs 30 euros. Well, the whole table had been drinking gin and tonics all night and my bill came to 600 euros. So that's 650 US dollars I spent in like a minute or two. Not smart. A $650 bar tab is not smart. Not smart. But you get over it and you move on. In total, this month on personal stuff, I spent $1,000. And that's because I also had to buy some new clothes for the wedding. I didn't have fancy clothes. I didn't own dress pants. So I had to buy that. I had to buy some other personal things this month. In total, this month, I spent way too much money. I spent $3,725 this month. I always talk about this. When I started as a travel writer, travel photographer, my budget per month was $1,500. And I would stay under that easily every month, living completely non-luxuriously, getting nothing comped. 
I was just super frugal. I wasn't wasting money on drinks. I wasn't drinking at all. I still don't really drink that much because I think it's kind of a waste of money and energy. And I was, I'd never waste money on accommodation. I was staying in hostels. Um, I just didn't waste a lot of money and I would like to kind of reel myself in because I can kind of feel myself getting a little bit crazy with my expenses. And that's the type of person I am is that I kind of binge on things. And when I have money, I start to just spend it. So it doesn't matter if I make $4,000 or $1,000, I spend it. So I've got to reel that in. Um, I guess that sucks that I spent so much money this month, but let's talk about the money that I brought in this month, which isn't super positive either, but let's get into it. Oh, oh I need to bring up the Income Octopus. I almost forgot. Here is Sir Jigglefoot, the Income Octopus, starting with editorial. I can never remember which side it starts on. I think here. No. Yes. Yes. Editorial here. I always talk about how I never earn money from editorial. I never chase it. That changed this month. I earned $200 from editorial. When I started, this was my only stream of income. This is where I started. Editorial, 100%. And I made $200 because somebody bought some video footage that I shot, which is really cool. Commercial's been my bread and butter for ages. I earned $2,550 in commercial, and that's two clients. One is an outdoors company that I was shooting images for out in the field, and the other one's a retainer client that I've had for almost three years now, which is awesome. Love shooting the commercial stuff, especially the style of commercial I do. The style of commercial photography I do isn't assignment-based. It's not like Nike is paying me to go out and shoot something. It's brand saying, shoot what you want. We just want some of those images. We need our product featured in our style in these images, but go out and shoot where you want, do what you want. And I love that. That's really cool to have that freedom. Next stream of income is stock photography and stock. I earned $225 and I talk about residual income a lot on this channel. And that's why I love stock photography. I haven't uploaded to my stock photography in like four or five months because I've been too busy and it's still earning $225 a month. I think that if I don't touch that stock, I don't add new images for another year, I still earn that $200 a month and that's really nice to have passive residual income. For any career, I think that's really important, especially as a photographer. The next stream of income is assignments and I didn't earn any money from assignments this month. That's not true. It says I didn't earn any money from assignments this month, but I just haven't been paid for assignments. In fact, I'm still waiting on payment from two assignments, one back in July and one in August. And then on top of it, I had an assignment this month in Scotland that'll be paid in the future. So there's a lot of assignment money that's gonna come into my bank account. It just didn't make it there. And I only count the money as it hits my bank account. So in theory, I made zero dollars in assignments this month. In reality, over the next couple months, you'll start to see that money um, popping into the account, even though my assignments have really finished right now for basically the entire year. Um, social, I also, in theory, didn't earn anything from social this month, but I did have one social client. When I talk about social income, that's income when a brand pays you for images that you use on your own social media. So a brand, let's say a potato chip company, might pay me to have their potato chips in my Instagram or Twitter or YouTube channel. Any of that is social income. And I also want to be clear on this vlog and on my Instagram and all that stuff, anytime I'm being paid to promote something, I'm always going to tell you. There's always going to be a disclaimer telling you that. On this channel, if somebody is like, paying me to use Canon or DJI or have given me money to endorse it, I'm going to tell you. That is the like guarantee of this channel is I'm always gonna be 100% honest with you guys at where my money is coming from and when things are endorsed and when they're not. Now that we got that clear, let's move on to the vlog. This YouTube channel earned $500 this month and it was a fantastic month and next month's gonna be better because YouTube earnings are a little bit delayed and this channel just saw a huge spike, basically thanks to the Thomas Heaton collaboration. The views have kind of doubled since then. There's been some nice community engagement. The community's growing. And this positive trend of growth that this channel's had for the past 
year just got like a really nice spike with that. So I'm thankful to Thomas Heaton. I'm thankful for all the people that have come over from that channel to check this out. Um, so big thanks to you guys for that 500 bucks. That's money I spent on buying everybody drinks in Austria. Sorry. The next stream of income is the blog, and the blog was pretty inactive this month. My blog's brendansadventures.com. And yeah, it was inactive this month, but I still earned $100 from the Google ads that run on that channel. So again, it's kind of residual passive income that I love. And finally, affiliate marketing. I earned $150. In some of the videos, especially when I talk about gear, I'll have like an Amazon link in the bottom in the description. If people click on that link, they buy products from Amazon, I get a tiny little cut. So that affiliate marketing is really kind of YouTube as well, but those links are on my blog as well. So it can kind of be like a blog vlog income mix. And that's it. The final amount of earnings this month was 3,725, which is coincidentally exactly as much as I spent this month, which is not good. Putting up a donut in any month is bad for a business, but most businesses can get by with that. For me, it's a bit of a challenge because I still have a ton of student loan debts that I'm paying off from university, and I'm supposed to be paying $700 minimum a month off on that, and I did. So essentially, when you talk about my loans and paying off my loans, I lost almost $1,000 this month. That being said, the next month's gonna be great, October is going to be killer in terms of income and there's lots of fun stuff coming on this channel as well. I'm heading right now back to the UK. This has been a short workation here in Toronto. I've been here for five days and now I'm heading back to kind of like do a work lifestyle mix. I love me trips. I love going out and exploring on my own. I also love assignments, but it's been so busy with these assignments lately that I'm looking forward to kind of doing my own thing for a little bit. And I am going to do a little bit of that just now. So I'm going to the UK. I've got like four or five days in the Kent area. I might even do a trip to the Jurassic Coast. And then we're doing our travel photography workshop in Iceland right after that, which is going to be so much fun. I'm so excited for that trip to Iceland. Then back to Kent for another week or so of relaxation and photography and me tripping. So um, I'm late getting to the airport. I'm going to take you guys with me as we fly now back to London. I'm flying with Air Transat and they just like emailed me a couple days ago saying I've been upgraded for free to Option Plus. I've never ever ever been upgraded on an airplane. So I'm super stoked for that. So let's, uh, I guess I'll take the camera off the tripod and let's head to the airport. always happen anytime I'm driving or in a bus or in a plane or anything you get these epic skies the light is just popping off as I drive to the airport it's so beautiful though I don't even care I don't have a camera unbelievable even when creating even when it's none doesn't matter lately I don't know what's wrong So apparently there was a note on my account to upgrade me to club class if there was a club class seat available. There's only 12 club class seats available on the whole plane. I guess that's their, like their first class. But I did get upgraded to like option plus which are bigger seats. So I still have never gotten like a full on upgrade. <sighs> you know how I've never beeped through airport security? That's a good record. This never getting upgraded is a terrible record. But shout out to Air Transat for trying to make that happen. Okay, I was just about to say that I have just arrived in London, but I didn't just arrive in London. I arrived like an hour and a half ago. Customs line, the immigration line was crazy today and I'm exhausted. Slept like two hours on the flight. So I'm heading to Kent tonight to spend a little bit of time with Jody, but I'm gonna call this an episode and I'm not gonna drive to Kent right now because I'm just like beyond tired. I'm actually just gonna drive down the road to a services and then sleep in a parking lot for two hours. 
that's how tired I am. Um, yeah, but that's it for this episode. There's some UK vlogs coming up, heading to the Jurassic Coast for a couple days starting tomorrow, and then uh, and we'll be exploring some, some locations around Kent as well before heading to Iceland in a week. So I'll see you guys on tomorrow's episode. Peace.